Amen. Praise to the God of Bible. Praise to the God the Father, God the Son, and God the Spirit. Amen. Praise to the Give. Praise to the One who loved mankind so much that He gave His only Son, that man and woman can be made right with God. Amen. Praise to the Trinitarian God. Praise to the Alpha and Omega. Praise to the beginning and the end. And Lord Jesus Christ, who is identified as the Messiah, yes. who is identified as the Prince of Peace, Amen. our everlasting Father. Mm -hmm. All praise goes to the Lord Jesus Christ. As Christian scripture teaches, in the beginning, when God created everything and man and woman, man and woman choose their own way. They sin against God, they sin against one another. And God of Bible steps in and gives solution to the sin, sin and brokenness. Bible tells us God, God is going to send his only son to die on the cross so that man and woman can be redeemed. With the blood of Lord Jesus Christ, as we stand redeemed people, we remember our brothers and sisters in Nigeria. Yeah. In Nigeria, there, there are problems that happen in Nigeria. And, in this year, so there's been a genocide that happened by Muslims that follow the Quran in Nigeria. So, as, as news is silent regarding what's happening to the Christians in Nigeria, yeah. as people are silent, what's happening to Christians in Nigeria, what's happening to our brothers and sisters in Nigeria, God is not silent. Yes. It breaks the heart of God when God sees his children are being persecuted. It breaks the heart of God when God sees his children have been killed. Yet, a religion called Islam steps in and without any shame takes the life of Christians yep. in the country called Nigeria. Approximately 2,000 Christians have been killed only within six months of this year by the Fulani herdmen. 1,750 Christians have been killed by people who follow this magical book called Quran. And Muslims just Is think that that's laughable. Why are you smiling? Is that what you think? And that's what we know. Billions of people. These are the facts. Hey, fam, look at me. These are the facts, yeah? You're on a pedestal. These are the facts, yeah? Let me tell you in your face. So if you're going to be rude, like you can a walk man. off. You're a coward. Yeah? You're a coward. If you're going to be rude, you're a coward. you can walk you're off. A coward. If I was a coward, you are a coward. I would be standing here talking. I'm telling you you're yeah? a coward in your face. So you come here you ain't with your no Islamic like you're attitude. You're you come here with your rude attitude. That's the fruit, yes. Allah and Muhammad steps in and transforms his people like this. You are talking about the crimes have been taken by your brothers and sisters who live in Nigeria. We are talking about our Christian brothers and sisters. No, no, no. You're too rude. Just go. Just go. Just go. You're rude. You're too rude. You can't communicate. You're too rude. You can't communicate. Yeah, I can't communicate with someone who's rude. You're sick. All right. Okay. You're fake. Why are you here then? You can't even look man in his eyes. Why are you here then? Why are you here? Remember my face. You're Why the follower of Islam is killing and taking the life of Christians in Nigeria? Exactly. Why? Why it is only the religion of Islam? Answer the question. Life of Christians by using their own scripture. Yes. Flani Hartmans, known as the Muslims, known as the people who follow this book, who follow the Quran, and who follow the teachings of Muhammad. 
did Christians Within six months, why did Christians in 1,750 Christians to the Americas? Burn the churches down. He's a. He's, he's, uh, he's asking why did the Christians kill people? So now, if you're going to be consistent, yeah, we're talking about what the Quran says, what, what the Quran condones, but the Christianity, Jesus Christ never told us to kill anyone. So if you're going to be consistent, if you're going to be consistent, give us the scripture. But the scripture condones this. Have you read the Quran? Have you read the Quran? Have you read Surah Al Toba? Have you read Surah Al Toba? Self defense, you can defend yourself. Somebody wants to. I'm going 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 to. I'm
verses, big states. They are talking about our subject. Our subject is why Muslims are genociding Christians in Nigeria. Why am I lying? Every Muslim says you're lying. Every Muslim says we're lying. But show us how we're lying. Show us how we're lying. Don't laugh. Don't laugh. Show us how we're lying. Show us then. Anyone can say we're lying, but you don't have any evidence. Surah chapter 9, Surah chapter 8. We'll give you the chapter. They have been killed by people Embarrassing. who followed this book. Exactly. It is called Quran. They have been killed by people who follow Muhammad. Muhammad. Who killed people. Why Christians have been killed? If there is no compulsion in this religion. Come here, come here, come here. Come here. My brothers and sisters are dead. Come here. Let's expose you. <laughs> Let's expose you, come here. How you Bible forces to scare your people in the Quran? Give us one scripture. Give us one scripture from the Bible. One scripture. If I bring you, I will you. That's it. Come on, take it out then. Oh, you have a job, okay. Shame and shame and shame. So why are you here in Nigeria? Why people who follow this book? Let's look at the verses, brother. Let's do what? Sorry. <laughs> I need to focus. You want me to go to the scriptures? You need to focus, right? Yes, yes, yes. Okay. In your focus version. When the Muslims are lying, it's hard to focus. Let's look at the Surah 9, verse 29. Surah 9, 29. I'm giving you scriptures, Muslims. By those who don't have faith in Allah. We've been quoting this every week. Nor in the last day, nor forbid what Allah and his apostles have forbidden, nor practice the religion of truth from among those who were given the book until they paid jizya, and feel themselves subdued. Everyone here is smart That's in Surah 9. Understand the life from the truth. If you talk about something you don't know, you are wasting your Surah 9, 1, 1, 1. Let's read that one. What you know best. As, we are, we are. As Muslims, Fulani Hortans attack the Christian, Nigerian Christians, yeah. they stated a couple of verses as they um, as they went to kill those Christians. One of the phrases they say was Allahu Akbar. They did it in the name of Allah. They take the life of my Christian brothers and sisters and they commit genocide by and in the name of Allah. What scripture did they quote her to? Um, I don't have those references. But when okay. you look at the Quran, it Let's is read not Quran. surprising yeah. that Quran, Quran's love language towards Christians are not very nice. You already read the Surah 9 verse 29 and in the context of that verse, verse 28 to verse 30, yeah. reasons those people should be killed because of only their beliefs. The disbelievers, that's why. Not their actions, yeah. but because they do not believe in Allah. They do not believe in Muhammad and in Nigeria, not only Boko Haram, but also Fulani Hortons are practicing this as well. Yep. 1,000 